Okay, so this is going to be the first, or maybe added into some other videos, of many videos. I am setting up an off-grid solar system for a piece of property that's going to be off-grid. We're selling our house in a suburban area and moving to a rural area, me and my wife and my son, and we're going to attempt to run fully off the grid. It's going to be the first attempt. What we have, let's start off with the batteries. I went with the lithium iron phosphate. I got the cheapest batteries on eBay. They were keep worth 12.8 volts. They were 340 bucks a piece. I bought one. I ran it and tested it and recharged it, tested it. I mean, this is my makeshift load. With about eight amps of halogen bulbs. It ran 40 hours before I decided to shut off. I got well over 250 amp hours out of it. Charged it back up. Been playing with it with just a old power inverter. I like the batteries enough. I ordered eight more. We're gonna have four here, four there. It's a string in series. It's gonna be 48 volt. I'm gonna be making up jumpers, jumping across. Uh, I ordered eight. I got seven. One is lost in shipping. If I have to, I will use the one that I tested first, but I want them to all be the same batch. But I don't think that'll matter too much. So we're going to have our two sets of four batteries, making 48 volts. We have our solar torrent inverter. Couldn't find much on this. Found it on eBay. Paid about 600 bucks for it. It's only 3,000 running watts, but it's got a 9,000 watt surge capacity for 10 seconds. The good thing about this is it is split phase. So I will have 240 volt or 120 volt, which we're looking to run a 240 volt well. Which right now I run on a 3,000 watt generator, so this should be more than adequate. We are going to be hooking up a generator plug to that to have a backup generator in the future. Hopefully that automatically comes on if the battery voltage drops too low. But hopefully we will have enough solar and battery capacity in the future not to need that. And then you have your solar input and they have a plug there. Breakers, battery input. So that is going to be our solar inverter combo. All our battery wires are going to be coming up to a 200 amp junction. Just a generic 200 amp breaker I'm going to use as a disconnect to work on it. We have a Victron 300 amp smart shunt. That's going to be the only thing that I really connect to my phone or Bluetooth. I don't think I'm connecting this Chinese solar torrent to Wi-Fi, but we shall see. Up here I have my 48 volt Starlink transformer. That's going to be put in here because that's going to go before everything else because I want to make sure the internet stays up because I'm going to be running cameras until we get up there and what else we got over here this is going to be the wire i'm using i'm using two gauge welding cable i also have a two gauge tinned anchor wire i'm going to use that for my jumpers i got a pretty good deal on that that's tinned copper the welding cable is all made in usa but it's just plain copper not tinned tried one of my first crimps with the chinese crimper I mean, I'm not exactly thrilled with it, but I think the next one will come out better. But I did solder them after that. Felt pretty strong. I pulled on it pretty good, then I soldered it. These are all tin copper lugs. And that's pretty much it. Zip ties. This is going to be affixed to that rack. Rack was given to me by a friend. <laughs> and that's pretty much what we got going on. The batteries, I balanced them all. These four anyway. I gotta wait till I get the other one. I'll finish up the rest. So these were all topped off and balanced. It's my brother-in-law's suggestion, which they were kind of out of the balance. Each one of them took about, I would say about 100, 100 amp hours of power in each battery. I picked these up. I'm sitting on the floor right here, but... They work pretty well. These are 20 amp smart charges, supposed to be for the lithium iron. I will say they sound like jet engines, but I've ran them for about 24 hours total, doing two batteries at a time. Charged them up. Looks pretty well good. That's pretty much it. I don't know where this video is going to end up, if it's just going to be posted on YouTube or added into a series of videos later, but I just wanted to start documenting the mock rough up 
I mean, this is just hanging on 14 wire and stuff. It's all going to be bolted down and zip tied and whatnot. Lots of zip ties. Certified zip tie technician building a uh, solar system to live on. So, we'll see where it goes. Everybody keeps telling me to make a YouTube channel of it. So far, I'm pretty impressed with these batteries. Coming from using lead acid batteries all the time, when I ran those halogen spots for over 40 hours on one battery and still had I think 12.7 volts or 12.8 volts that's pretty impressive all right well I'm gonna keep ranting here that's pretty much it that's the setup for now I've dedicated this truck body box that I emptied out to setting this system up the entire system is gonna be set up here downstate I'm gonna test it I'm not gonna test the solar but I will run the generator and everything make sure the batteries are charged and maybe run my house here on it see how I how much power it uses to run my house and this will all be broken down and reset up up in the mountains off grid thanks for watching like and subscribe the system's been operational for a few days now got the last of our eight batteries in today and i have a set of four there in series putting out 48 volts another set of four balancing off the last two batteries now and I've had it running the lights in here for about a week now. It's been okay. I had a little issue with the smart shunt because I had to learn the settings on it. Got the generator over there. The only thing I'm adding to this system next is going to be a 100 amp charger. Because this has only put out 15 amps while hooked up to AC power. Hook up a 100 amp charger so if this entire bank, I mean if the half of the bank was dead, it would take three hours to fully charge. But once this entire bank is set up, I want to be able to charge these batteries up in less than six hours. So if you get a weeks long time of rain, so far it's been pretty good. Nothing's uh, blew up yet. And we got the cheapest Chinese lithium iron, not lithium, yeah, lithium iron batteries you got. I've ran these, cycled these a few times. I'm pretty happy with them. Next thing I gotta do, I just gotta make up all the jumpers for the bottom bank. Run the wires, solder them. Kind of use a little bit more wire than I thought, but I got boxes all over. What am I going to do with these boxes? Much happier with the hydraulic crimper. So, my first attempt at loading 27 panels failed. We lost three. Please follow the route for three miles. Unpacking the entire trailer, taking the panel out, restacking, screwing straps to the walls, cutting up solar rail, making brackets, ratchet straps. And we still gotta get home. Then they gotta And we sat in five hours of traffic to go two hours today. All right, all right, so this is phase one of our solar project. We got larch wood buried. The Amish are telling me this is gonna last a long time. We got 12 225 watt panels, a little under 3,000 watts. And today we are putting out about 2.3 kilo. There's the sun. I'm around here. guy who zip tied those wires really knew his stuff we had a little trouble there's some crooked posts because it's six inches of topsoil and many feet of rock it all comes into our combiner box it's not fully complete yet this is temporary wire and I say temporary but we'll see Coming in there, main breaker, 10 amp fuses on each string. We got three strings of four panels in series each. And we buried the wire. That's fine for now. I gotta get some and do it. But this is functional. I'll show you the inside. This is stage one. 
All right, you come in here. Again, this is all temporary setup. I have to put on a bigger rack and make an enclosure. We have our, here we get in here, four 300 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron batteries. Again, it's all tempted in. We got a 300 amp DC shunt. I got the EG4 generator, controller, charger. That puts out 100 amp if we don't have sun, but so far we're pretty happy with it. Everything's kind of temporarily set up. We got 102 volts. 2.2 kilowatt of power being put out. 40 amps. It's pretty nice. We don't have much load on it right now. We're letting the batteries charge up. Let's see if the charge voltage is good where it's at. But we are charging off sun. The 200 amp breaker there. That's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with that. This was just a proof of concept, I guess, just to see how the solar stuff is going to work. But not bad.